going to put some salt, nice black pepper using olive oil. I'm going to put my chicken skin side down, always. Skin side down and you want to hear that sound. I have the, the heat on medium high, just so you know. All right, there we go. So I'm going to start turning this over. They're sufficiently brown, so I'm going to go ahead and take them out now. There we go. Regular olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms in. I'm just keeping it at medium high, right? Just a pinch of salt. So I'm going to go ahead and add the shallots at this stage. Garlic. Go ahead and add a little bit of tomato paste. Have some white wine. Of course, as always, make sure to cook out all of the alcohol. It's going to reduce beautifully crushed tomatoes. Some fresh tomatoes to kind of balance out the, the acidity. I'm going to add my chicken stock. So I'm just going to bring this to a simmer and then I'm going to add the chicken. Before I put the chicken in, I'm gonna go ahead and skim it a little bit, get rid of all this foam because you don't want a cloudy sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken back in. Here I have a leek, bay leaves that I have here. I'm using two parsley stalks, a few sprigs of thyme. I also have basil here. Fold this like this, right, the leek. I'm just gonna literally tie it. Just cut this off a little bit. I'm just gonna cut it off. All right, so I'm gonna cover it and cook it for an hour. So I'm just gonna slice it like this. Cut it. And I'm gonna use the spatula, get them off the board. All right, there we go, done. All right, now parsley time. So I'm just going to chop it up as finely as I can, all right? Parsley and add paste. A little bit of salt. Using extra virgin olive oil, right? I'm going to add a little pepper to this, not too much. Don't add too much Gruyere cheese at this point. We will add more. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour my mixture in here. I mean, my croutons in here. And kind of separate them out a little bit. Let's check on our croutons. Move around a little bit. Excellent, let's cook it for another 10, 15 minutes and then we'll take it out. Add a little bit of salt to the water. Now don't add too much and mac and cheese go right in. So I'm gonna cook these until they are very, very, very al dente. Should be ready by now. Let's take a quick look. Wow, they are super crunchy. All right but I'm gonna keep the water because I'm gonna make a very, very, very creamy sauce. Cheese, the cheese that comes with the package. A little bit of the water of the macaroni in. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of cream. Okay. A little bit of Gruyere cheese, my favorite cheese. Look at that, look at that mac and cheese, honestly. Beautiful. Right, let's take out the chickens. And the French food. Oh, so, so I'm gonna add a little more salt to it. The reason I add white vinegar is because it is the most neutral taste. And then I'm gonna stir it. Okay, I'm gonna add, taste it a little bit again. Ready to plate, just the chicken in the middle, just some sauce on the side. Parsley just on top, give it a little bit of crunch. All right, I'm gonna put some croutons on top of here, and I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese on top. 